What's up guys, Silver here with another Spartan Assault Achievement Guide. This time we are doing Overrun, which is complete Operation A. So there are five missions in Operation A, A1 through A5. We're going to cover them all today right here. Some general tips if you're having trouble with any of the missions throughout the game is to put on some boosters or get better weapons to start the mission. And to do that, you want to select the mission you want to do, and then you'll come to this screen, the Armory. And as you can see, it shows your loadout where you're going to start the mission with. So you have your primary weapon, secondary weapon, armor ability, and booster. So you can see I clicked on my primary weapon, which was an assault rifle, but we could upgrade it to a sniper, a Spartan laser, or a rocket launcher. And the way you could do that is by using XP that you've gathered by playing the game just naturally over time. And you could uh, select better weapons and boosters and everything uh, before you start a mission if you're having trouble with a particular mission. So same thing with the secondary weapon. We could upgrade that to any of those weapons as well. And then our armor ability for this first mission is a regen field, but we could actually change it to an auto sentry, overshield, or seeker drone. And then also the booster we could change to a shield booster, damage booster, or score booster. I would recommend a damage booster if you're having trouble. Um, it makes your weapons more powerful no matter what they are. So it's easier to just tear through the enemies and that obviously makes it way less likely that they'll be able to kill you. And you can also see that my profile allows for one free use of some of these items because of the fact that I got certain achievements in Halo 4. But for someone that has never played Halo 4, that will not be available, unfortunately. So now that that's out of the way, a general tip for shooting is to just simply use both joysticks. One controls where you're moving, and you can still shoot with just that one joystick, but it is way less accurate than if you use both joysticks. The only downside is you actually move slower if you're using both joysticks, so... Just throwing that out there, I know some people have trouble with this game, but it's much easier if you're aware of that. So with that in mind, let's get into it. So here we go, mission A1, the first of the bunch. Grab some grenades off the spawn from that crate, and we're going to stand down here, wait for a grunt drop pod. There's going to be two grunts in here, we're going to melee both of them. Missed the first one, but got it on the second and third. Then we're going to hang out in between these four Marines, and I'm going to speed this part up. I'll speed a bunch of parts up in this mission, because we're just going to let the Marines do all of the heavy lifting. Just stand here, and then we are going to take out the two grunts in this drop pod, as they are close to us. Uh, actually, one of my Marines took out one, and I took out the other. Again, missing that first melee, but who cares? Uh, anyway, the regeneration field is your power, or armor ability, rather, in this mission. So if you're ever low on shield, just activate that. You'll get your shielding back. And we are going to speed this part up and let the Marines do all of the work again until an elite drop pod comes in uh, towards the end of the mission here. And we're going to melee him as well. It only takes two hits. And then we'll wait for the Marines to take out the last two elites. And that is all you have to do for this mission. Very easy. A uh, very cheap way to do it, but it'll definitely get you through and get you the uh, first part of this achievement. So, on to the next one. A2, we are going to run past most of the enemies. Instead of camping, we're going to be running this mission. So we're going to run up, melee this grunt as you go past them. Uh, you don't have to kill any enemies in this mission except for the fuel rod turrets. So we're going to come upon this first one here, and we're going to shoot the fusion cores next to that. And that will trigger an explosion that will take out all of the health of that turret. So then we can just keep moving. Once you see it start smoking or fizzing or whatever fusion cores do, you can start moving away from it and move on to the next one here. We're going to throw three grenades, three frag grenades at it. Grab some more plasma grenades down here from that crate. And we're going to keep on moving, ignoring most of the enemies here. Again, you have a regeneration field if you're ever low on health, or shielding rather. And we're actually going to take out this elite right here and clear out this section a little bit. Uh, I used my assault rifle to take down his shield and then one-shot him with the magnum. And over this barrier, we could throw grenades at that turret, so we could see we've blown that up. That is the third and final turret. Then we're going to head back down to the Hornet, which is waiting to pick us up. And you could see, uh, I didn't need to do this, but I showed you that you could use the regeneration field if you're ever low on health. Or shielding. I keep saying health. And we are done with that mission. On to A3. This is a super cheap mission as well. At least the strategy I'm employing for this mission is pretty cheap. We are going to just sprint to the end and then wait there. Uh, we're supposed to be escorting these Wolverines to the top of the map, but we're just going to, you know, let them get there by themselves. They can handle it. Um, they actually get there with about half of their health intact. And, uh, yeah, you don't really have to do anything except for clear out three waves of enemies at the top here. So that's what we're going to do. You can see there's a drop ship, which is going to drop off the first wave that we have to clear out. Grab some plasma grenades from that crate up there, and then there's going to be an elite and three grunts. I try to grenade the elite. I like to uh, use grenades against elites if I can. Uh, but I had to switch to the assault rifle because I missed with that grenade. And then you could one-shot kill the grunts easily with the magnum here. And uh, I'm just going to sit here in this location. We're going to skip ahead in a second because I literally just stand here for like two minutes waiting for the wolverines to get here. And you can see here they are. They are going to have about half of their health intact. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty unnecessary for you to be here guarding them. You're not really doing much. But anyway, we're going to uh, wait for the second and third waves of the enemies that we need to take out to come in. 
Uh, the second wave is actually following this group of Wolverines. You can see they're kind of taking pot shots from behind. We're going to again miss with a grenade, but uh, I just I guess I'll just shoot them. There we go. It is a top-down shooter, not a top-down grenade thrower. And here is the final wave of enemies coming in this dropship on the tip of this uh, precipice or whatever it is. And there's going to be an elite and three grunts. The elite was taken out by my marine buddies by a grenade. Apparently, they're much better at using grenades than I am. And then the three grunts we took out as well. And that will cap off this mission. So on to the next one, A4. So we're going to spawn in and hop into the wraith right off the bat. We're going to use it to blow up the barricade, which is being formed by a bunch of wraith wreckage, it looks like. Then we're going to hop out. We usually would stay in the wraith and use it to continue through the rest of the mission. But we're just going to run past most of the enemies like we've been doing. So use sprint. That is your default armor ability for this mission. Wait for it to recharge and then sprint again in this direction. We're going to take out the first anti-air wraith. And once you're on the side of the wraith, you want to hit the action button to board it. And that will get you to hop up there, punch the elite in the mouth, and toss him out. And then you have your own anti-air wraith for you to use. So use that to kill the three grunts in the area with the plasma turret on the front. And then we're going to hop out and grenade the wraith to death while we're picking up some plasma grenades from the crate over there. Because you actually need to blow up the wraith so you can't just neutralize them. We're going to run to the second one here now that we took out the first one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to board it. And this part's a little bit random. Sometimes you take a decent amount of damage here and sometimes you don't take any. Uh, you can see that by the time I'm in here and moving in the wraith, I have about half the health of the wraith intact. So I'm actually going to bail out before this thing blows up. You can see they took it out for me. But again, it's a little random. Sometimes they don't damage you that much. So I just drive it down to the right where that driverless wraith is. And I'll blow it up with the grenades myself if I need to. But we've sprinted up to this third and final anti-air wraith. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing we've been doing. Just board it. And we're going to drive it up to the top of the map, which is the end of the mission. And sometimes the wraith blocks you. This opposing wraith here will block you. And you can just blow it up with a plasma turret if that happens. But if not, you can just drive up here, bail out of the wraith, head to the top, turn back and throw grenades at the wraith to blow it up. And that is all she wrote. But I lied. She actually wrote a sequel and it's called Operation A5. So here we go. Start off that mission. So we're just going to head down to the right and camp in the bottom right corner of this map for the entire mission. This is a mission where you have to hold out for four minutes before your evac arrives, so basically you just have to survive. So we're just going to avoid as many enemies as possible by hanging out down here. The enemies actually spawn from up top, and they are distracted by a bunch of marines up there. Um, so they don't usually find their way down here. You can see that a grunt made his way down here, and we just shot him in the face for his efforts. But I'm speeding up a lot of parts of this mission just because I'm standing here. We don't want to waste too much time. Uh, just watching me stand here. We can see another grunt made his way down, and we're going to speed it up again. Uh, eventually, there will be an elite that comes down here. It is a little random what enemies find their way down here, though. So if an elite does make his way down here, you could whip out your shotgun and close the gap and shotgun him. Takes a couple blasts. And uh, then we're going to go here and camp some more. Then there's going to be another elite. He actually doesn't close the gap. Um, I try to shotgun him, but he backs off, so I'm just going to shoot him with my magnum. He ends up actually just running away and getting distracted by the marines up there in the middle of the map. So I'm just going to hang out here around the 1 minute mark, about 1 minute 5 seconds, 1 minute 8 seconds or so. A wraith will spawn along the upper left wall and we're going to just run over there with our sprint, our armor ability, and hijack him right away right as he spawns into the map. Sorry buddy, he had no chance to get any kills with that lovely wraith of his. We're actually going to get a couple kills ourselves, so we took out that elite and we're just going to continue camping here. Any enemies that come down here are not a match for us with our wraith. Here comes an elite, and we're going to use our tremendous bulk to just go over and tap him, and that will splatter him. Very easy to splatter enemies in this game. One thing you do want to keep an eye on is some enemies like to come through the walls on your left or right at this point, so that's why I was shooting at the walls there, just to kind of point out where they might come from. They didn't spawn through those walls this time around, but they might for your playthrough, so just something to be aware of. And of course, once the countdown ends and a new one starts saying, Board the Hornet, we will use that sprint armor ability to get to the Hornet in a timely fashion thus ending this mission and this operation and this achievement. See you guys in the next one for Operation B. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the Scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.